Hey y'all. Boy, look at them green trees and blue Texas skies. Happy Tuesday to you. My days off rotate from time to time based on business needs, and today was one of those days I was able to take off. Got a lot of garden work done. But uh, I was gonna come on a little later. I thought I'd jump on now. Y'all gotta see this. Um, <laughs> look at that. Let me turn this camera around. So, uh, Mama Hen's got the little ones out on a field trip. <clears throat> got me on pins and needles. <laughs> but uh, they're in good hands. All, let's see, two, four. I've got them counted. They're all there. But uh, they're only about a week old, what, week and a half? I'd still be worried about them having a heat lamp on them in the brooder. But they're running with the big chickens these days. I suppose she don't watch the news, you think? don't know that there's threats around they're living in today in this moment and doing their due diligence to stay safe boy you can learn a lot from that can't you that's something they got big dog right here making sure that nothing on the ground gets them of course the chicken hawks the main thing they've got enough alarms walking around but that uh that's sure cool we're up to three chicken snakes now of course, y'all know I hadn't had any, but uh, they all came at once, as they do. And uh, one of the dead ones, I was walking out of the chicken house with it. And I was curious what old Mama Hen would do with the snake. It was dead. And I'm walking pretty close to her with it. And boy, she bowed up. <laughs> she was not taking any further steps with that snake. She's about to tear me up. <laughs> so, chickens in the potato patch. How about that? Hope y'all are uh, off to a good start this week. Uh, looks to be a pretty week. Most of you's gardens are in full swing. Some of you are already harvesting. Boy, it sounds kind of neat to see all the produce pictures on Facebook for those that got a good clean start. Maybe this is their first year back into gardening. I guess that means I'm rolling with the right group of friends and not seeing so much negativity in my news feed. I'd rather see positive any day. Our corn's tasseling and ears are making. Of course, I know I'm behind a few folks. That's all right. Successfully got uh, about five of the rows weeded. Still got some green down that one I got to attack. But those 180-foot rows by hand, you got to take it a day at a time or it'll overwhelm you for sure. Pumpkins, all that's coming up, doing good. I'm mighty proud of these tomatoes. Now we'll just see if they uh, make it all the way to a red one. Did all those from seed. But uh, tomatoes are coming on. I just saw a couple in there. These are homestead. Now, uh, I don't do anything special on watering them. Uh, there are about five of them in there coming on strong. Uh, a good friend of mine taught me a little trick on planting them once they get ready to go to the garden. I dig about a all five inch hole, put some cottonseed meal in the bottom and a little bit of just all purpose, maybe triple 13. Cover that with dirt, then put the plant on top of that. Then on the left and right of the plant, dig a little furrow with your finger about the depth of your finger. And throw some triple 13 in there about six inches off the plant on each side. And as them roots take off, they start tapping into that fertilizer and do well. So, can't say he's wrong because they're looking good, right? Yep. Turkeys are getting huge. I see a few of them starting to lose some feathers on their neck, the big old toms. I imagine we'll hear a gobble for too long. DW hears me walking around, he's in there hollering. I gotta stay on patrol, because y'all hear him. Yeah, he knows I'm here and he wants feed. He's already had his meal today. He's got plenty to eat out in the, in the thicket. What are you hollering about, dude? Look at him. Hey, buddy. Turkeys and goats. He's still up to his shenanigans. So I'm, I'm gonna have to get a little smarter. I use that board there. I lean it up against here to keep the turkeys in. And uh, he likes to come over there and headbutt that board, knock it down. And as you can see, the turkeys get out. Leave it to him. Let me turn this around. Let y'all see how big these babies are getting. How about that? Big old things. Those are the same age. That's these little chickens over here. <laughs> what, five, six weeks, same ages 
that chicken. <laughs> I guess they're uh, getting more feed. It's a race, huh? Hey, uh, I, there's a lot of little bitty things that go on from time to time. I started a little group, nothing special. But uh, sometimes you want to click on the camera and show different little random moments. But uh, y'all can find it there on the page. If y'all want to join, you're welcome to it. Just a place to share random thoughts and things. But uh, sure did learn a lot from that old hen today. There's a thread everywhere, but she's living in the moment. I guess that's what's on the inside. Kind of reminds me of that little boy and his dad went to a toy shop, killing some time, and the little boy found a punching bag, you know, the kind on a stand, and hit rear back, hit that punching bag, send it spinning, and it'd fall all the way to the ground and bounce right back up. And he kept on and he kept on, he kept trying to keep that thing down, kept hitting it. Finally, he said, Dad, that thing won't stay down. He said, well, why don't you figure out what's going on there, son? So the little boy looked at it up and down and around, and turned it to the side, turned his head, got to study, and he said, Dad, I don't know. He said, well, what's keeping it up, son? He said, there's something on the inside that's keeping it up. So maybe that's what it is. All of us have something on the inside. That if we'll tap into it, it'll keep us up. We might get knocked down occasionally, but don't know any better, just get up, right? what's inside of us. That's how these old critters live. There's threats all around, but pay no mind. None of us are guaranteed tomorrow. We just gotta be as smart as we can today and enjoy it. And mama and them little biddies are sure enjoying walking around. I get tickled out of them. They think they're full grown. <laughs> Don't we all? That's good stuff. Well, hey, let me do a quick roll call. I'm gonna sit down over here and I've been sweated that about three or four times today. <laughs> I'm whooped. I'm sure DW's gonna come jump up here on, on this thing with me. We'll see. Y'all let me know if he's coming up behind me. All right, <clears throat> let's see who all's on the seating, checking off. Let's see, uh, there's Felicia from the four of us. Got a new grandbaby on the way. Uh oh, here he comes. Yeah, they see you. He's probably gonna start chewing on my back. <laughs> All right, there, there you go. All right, you're in there, okay? How about that? That's old DW, y'all. Uh-huh. He's a friendly little cuss, ain't he? I'm, I told Jordan, of course, they've got collars on. They're breakaway collars. I need to get me a breakaway. I'm, <laughs> I don't think those going to leave, but this one, this one should. We'll have to get the collar and go have him walk around a little bit. Dude, there ain't enough room up here for me and you both. I guess I'm going to have to move, ain't I? You are. Well, that's your hind end. Let's go this way. You're something else, ain't you? Yep. They are uh, starting to clear that. <laughs> you ain't gonna let me sit up here, are you? <laughs> there's uh, there's Misty. How are you up Texarkana way? She's got a good garden going on. Mike's, <laughs> he's tickling me now. You better stop it. I'm gonna put you in a headlock, boy. He'll get me with them horns. There's Mike, happy Tuesday from Cottonwood, California. I think uh, they're in the middle of a house sale and maybe a move to Texas. I know he's been wanting to get out this way for some time. Uh, I know California's pretty and all, and I guess it's a nice place to visit, but boy, my goodness. But, uh, you'd have to live outside the city, I guess. I guess that's everywhere, isn't it? Lyle's saying hello from Canton. That's a good town. Miss Donna's checking in from Pensacola, Florida. There's Mary. Thank you. Yeah, I'm mighty proud of it. Uh, <laughs> I'm a... I'm gonna have to uh, do some practice rehearsals or something for this guy. He, I knew this was gonna happen. That's all right, isn't it? That, that horn, that easy, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna headlock him. There we go. Uh, making me lose track, buddy. There's Nancy from Cleveland. It's a pretty day today. Lot Texas in the house with Miss Doris McKinney. Let's see. There's Susan K from Five Inches of Rain in Michigan. My goodness, we got some rain coming this weekend. I'm sure that guard's going to need it by that time. But uh, just letting the, the good Lord take care of the, the water needs out there. If it comes, it comes. If it don't, it don't. We've got too much out there to try to worry about watering it. So we'll just do what we can, and that'll be all right. Arkansas is in the house with Suzanne. There he is. I knew it. <laughs> what in the world is wrong with you, dude? You're on the camera. All right. 
Y'all, he's, he's, he's something else. Now he's gonna headbutt me on the knee <coughs> or on the side. All right, I'll get off. Sorry, I'll get up. He wants me to go get him some feed, I think. There's uh, Joanne Smith, uh, Say Grove, Open Space Garden Tomatoes Turkey. Yep, it's good stuff. There's Maria. How are you? I'm glad you caught me live. I gotta get steady here. My arm's tired, y'all. Excuse me for moving around so much. Uh, absolutely, get back up. It's called life. That's right. Aggie, uh, he's saying, yeah, he is saying hi to everyone. There's Joyce from Athens. Donna Lou Jackson Lee. Uh, Angelina County Airport. Uh, she's checking in south of us there. North Carolina's in the house with Carol. Uh, L.A. County had rain yesterday. Let's say checking in. Goats are funny dogs. That's about a good statement right there, Maria. <laughs> uh, doing what goats do. That's right. And Kathy's saying, love your critters. Well, he's he's had enough of the head button. So they're definitely going to get rid of this thicket, y'all. I did take a picture before. Of course, it don't look like much now, but you can see they're working on it. Bark coming off the trees. And this one saying thank you for not clearing that when i was putting that fence up i kept wanting to chop a good lane i'm like well no don't do that you're gonna take their food but they're at home and sure we're getting after it <laughs> those old privet hedges have met their match in these three the little one's a buck <coughs> dw is and the other two are does and uh we'll probably have a batch of them now this this fall i've noticed something about these turkeys it's kind of cool they're really social birds about three of them got out earlier, just kind of walked around the chicken house. And uh, they, I guess they see me as their, their food provider or whatever, because I said, come on turkeys, and they follow me all the way back, just like they're doing now. Ain't that something? I got to clip their wings for too long, but at this point, I don't think they're going to venture too far off. Anyway, we'll be ready for it. Hey, hope y'all have a good evening. And... Uh, Remember, just like that little boy found out about that punching bag, it's what's inside that keeps making you get up. And maybe be like that old chicken. Turn off the news and think about the good stuff. Be vigilant. Don't take it wrong. I'm saying be willy-nilly. But uh, I took an old, I took a walk this afternoon back to that, that uh, cabin in the woods. I called all the way to the back, finally found the old gate. Think about the simple stuff. Had to go get some Gatorade. Got to mention this. This really took me back. Y'all, uh, y'all can sure relate to this. Two little old kids, about ten years old, was at the counter ahead of me here at the little convenience store. And I mean, they had a handful of Nairlators and candy. You know, the single kind, and they had it piled up on the counter. They was counting their pennies. Wouldn't that be nice to go back to that again? About the only thing you'd worry about was getting enough money to get you some candy at the dollar store or at the convenience store. Back then, you could do a lot with a dollar. I don't know about now. I think they're probably digging in couches and had their little bikes outside. Simple joys. That's what it's about. Y'all have a good evening. Be the light, and I guess we'll check in with you later. I'm going to go tend to these chickens and see if we got eggs now that we got all the chicken snakes done for now. Still looking for another one. But it's all right. Y'all have a good evening. Be the light.